Hey, I'm Heather with the Paris Phase Podcast, and I have two amazing guest hosts today. We've got Gary Pierce, and we've got Matt Milligan over there. Howdy, howdy. Welcome, How's guys. Going? What's going on? I am going to talk just a second about what is wrong with millennials. Are we on? <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 You're going to love we're this recording. one, Matt. So... So do you want to do you want to read the headline here? Yeah. So here's a here's a news story that is happening right now. Yeah. So this is funny. So I got this in I'm a gonna, group gonna... text from a bunch of guys in college, um, and essentially Hooters is shutting down because apparently millennials, as the I'll, I'll read the headlines. This yeah, isn't, just, this isn't me. Just read it. Uh, Hooters is shutting down and rebranding after a new study shows that millennials aren't that into boobs. What? Full stop. Is it okay? So, so, so <laughs> here's the question: What's wrong with teenage boys or millennials? Like, how how does this happen? Is it because they see it? Remember what I showed just showed you on Instagram? Right. Is it because they see so much of it already that they don't even care about it in real life? Yeah, I think I think at this point it's just the. I think you're right. You you get the, the all but, the content coming at these kids and the access they have. It's not like when we were growing up, like Hooters was, you know. But, but, but. <laughs> Do you know that was a staple for our family? Hooters? Every Sunday. Yeah. I've never been. We would go, kids and all, and go get some beers and eat wings at Hooters. Really? Yeah. Loved it. I'm sure you did. Naked or breaded? Breaded. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I've never been there. <laughs> yeah. It's, <laughs> they're shrimp. It's good. Their food's There's, actually... I, it's very like, legit. I mean, it's not like Roos Chris or Del Frisco's or anything. It's but a chicken I, wing, though. It's a chicken wing, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, Daytona wings. Yeah, my folks like. No. Yeah. It says, once again, the millennials are to blame, this time for causing the potential downfall of boob-friendly bar and restaurant chain Hooters. <laughs> what the heck? How are they going to rebrand it? What are they going to turn it into? Like a freaking... Uh, what's what's that? Know. What's that place that has all the video games? It's like two oh, dudes' Chuck, names, uh, like Barry and Steve oh, or something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Dave and Buster's. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. So w what the heck? Why? Well, in this case, like it, Dave and Buster's, like what the kids play all the video games at home, so they're not gonna. Like, right. I'm sure Dave and Buster's is going through a similar, you know, pain point. It makes me so sad that kids are not out there just like doing stuff with other kids as often, like as when we grew up. That's parenting. But is it, though? It is. Because I've seen such a change in my own kids, and then <clears throat> especially with my customers' kids after COVID. Yes. Because, you know, it came to, I was scared shitless, you know, when COVID is going to hit. Were you scared <clears throat> of COVID, or were you scared of, like, the fallout, or what specifically were I you thought the whole about? world was going to come to the end then. Literally an end. I cried myself to sleep. I thought <clears throat> I was going to die every yeah. single night because I have asthma. So You know, oh, we yeah. just got done. Um, some good friends of mine, we just bought a ranch in S Stevens County and closed on it. <clears throat> and it was a high fence ranch. And usually the buyers for that type of stuff is, you know, far and few in between. <clears throat> but, um, you know, and then COVID comes around and I was like, oh, my God. Here we go. We're going down. And like your phone just started blowing up. One and month it was dead, though. March was dead. Yeah. April, Maybe that's when I was April in my depression stage. I yes. don't remember that. And we were terrified. Yeah. And then April 1st, it was like bananas for the next two years. No, actually, we closed on the ranch in February um, with a new buyer. So Right before Right before COVID. Because that's when we got yeah. stuck in... in um, um, at Steamboat, remember, like yeah. when Joel and I went up there, and they <laughs> yeah. and they said, "Oh, we're shutting down the mountain because of COVID." And we literally were just there for a day, and I was like, "Oh, come on, shutting it down." That's unbelievable. And when they say shut down, and this yeah. is Colorado, they shut down everything, all the restaurants, and blah blah. blah. We couldn't even get flights to come home. We have but, no idea what COVID was really like compared, like outside of Parker. Like we lived a whole different world than everybody else like any yeah. major that's city true. that's true like yeah. i mean think about being in new york city or san francisco or boston during that time like those folks were literally con 
like confined, confined to, yeah. to oh, yeah. a tiny apartment. apartment. What like, did people do that had dogs that live in these apartments? So that was a thing. Crazy. Like with the guy that bought the ranch, he was uh, he had a couple of car dealerships in New Mexico, and he was telling me like New Mexico, their schools are shut down for over a year. Sure. And um, they had a huge house at PK, and his kids lived in DFW. And he said, you know, we have a big house, but, like, when we all get together, it's we're too close mm-hmm. to each other. Like, what, what do you do? And so he's like, man, I think I want to buy a ranch. You know, never ranched before, this or that. And, and he came down and, and, uh, and brought the kids. And you can kind of tell the kids were a little dorky, you know, um, gamer type. And if, I, if I was just giving a little bit of outside speculation on them. And uh, after that, closed on it. He's got these kids in Carhartts. They're filling up deer feeders. They don't even give two shits about their iPad. He's got them telephone. working. And, yeah. and that's the thing is after COVID, I think such a big group of people, they've never realized, and it's and I hate to say it once again, it's parenting. They don't realize what the great outdoors is. Right. You know, when we would go fishing down at the coast and stuff, I mean, you're seeing all these kids and families out there on boats and and just like, holy cow, we didn't even know this existed. Like, did you know you couldn't, like, I like to paddleboard. You could, you had to get a, you had to call for the Mineral Wells State Park and get a slot. Yeah. Just to get in. During my wedding, <clears throat> Big Jim that came down him yeah. and his daughter, they went over to the state park and weren't admitted. Yeah. They said, we don't, we can, we were at capacity. And yeah. I'm like, when, how was many, your, when was your wedding? Uh, 2020. Uh, July. <gasps> He's a little newlywed. A little newlywed. I'm a, a COVID uh, newlywed. You're yeah. a COVID baby. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys so, yeah, have kids crazy. together or no? No kids. Okay. Just well, wondering. Yeah. Well, congratulations. I, I just live vicariously through, you know. Other people? Other people's kids. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm Uncle G. You have no kids at all? No kids. Really? Yeah. Huh. We, we have uh, plenty to spare, so if, you need, <laughs> okay. if you need a couple. As long as they like to, like, um, clean stalls and... Mm, actually, Connor, the one that you met, yeah. worked down the road cleaning stalls for Sam Bamber Farms. Yeah, we can definitely come yeah. up with some really good outdoor activities for these kids. All but, right. so back to the Hooters. That's what we need. Oh, back to Hooters. Okay. So, what I mean, do they become, like, an outdoor brand? Like, something like that? Do you think that's, like, something that's appealing to these I millennials think it, these days? Like, what, what fills the gap? That's not already out there. And why even rebrand? Because who cares? Like, why go through this whole rigmarole unless they're just doing it kind of as a publicity stunt? You know what I'm saying? It could be. I mean, it's putting them on the news again. I mean, it is. The Hooters on the west side of Fort Worth. That's where we always used to go. It's kind of off of 183 in Hewland. It's kind of like right in the middle of that juncture. Mm -hmm. And uh, we hadn't been there forever. And I brought my son over there earlier this year. And his food was horrible. Really? Terrible. And I was like, oh, I get it. Like, why well, you don't hear about him anymore? And um, well, they still got John Daly. Yeah, <laughs> so that's good. <laughs> you know, so next time we went to Twin Peaks and loved it. Really? Yeah, but still miss Hooters. I, maybe Twin Peaks will not rebrand, and then they will have a the corner of the boob market. It's all publicity. That you know. Yeah. Yeah, the kids see I, more and more like on social media, and you can't miss it on TikTok. You know, you can look up barbecue cooking and I'll show do you think those kids even like part of it is like they just don't get out because they've got DoorDash and these bigger that's actually a really good point you know what I mean like maybe it's not the location as much as or the the venue as it is the access to all these different so I was in Fremont Nebraska so much creating so much laziness right you know what I'm saying Fremont Nebraska small community in the Midwest three days ago we're all sitting around as a family talking and this and that. My daughter gets up and then comes back and she's got a bag of chips, Takis. Like, where'd you get that from? DoorDash. <laughs> what? So I said, are you fucking kidding me? You just door dashed a bag of chips? I'm talking we live in the country. And didn't think twice about it. <laughs> she, she Gary me. knows her, I so know. like this it fits is, this, to a T. Yeah, this is this is classic Grace. Oh like, my this gosh! Is, yeah, this is uh, she's. We live too far out of town, so there ain't yeah, no DoorDash same. coming to my house. I have cornfields in front of my house in Nebraska, like country. Yeah, and they delivered out there. I guess. What was her? What, did you ask her what the delivery fee was? That we would have gotten an argument. Yes, okay. And okay. We're there. Pick, your <laughs> Pick your battles. Pick your battles. So uh, speaking of TikTok, 
Let's talk about TikTok a little bit because you mentioned something about the colleges and then I mentioned something about the House of Representatives. Yeah, I think so it's going down. Talk about that. Yeah, that's the consensus, right? Like, I mean, even going back to the Trump days, you know, he was not really on board with that, you know, that whole deal. And he was trying to shut no, it down. Trump was shut, trying to yeah, shut it down. Yeah, trying he to said, shut it down. No Chinese, no Chinese run company in our, ta- in our country. And then that's when they government, sold it to Bite Dance. Yeah. The, the, so it was like yeah. run by, so they, you know. They knew it and everybody does. Congress and all of that knew, but mm-hmm. it couldn't be Trump's idea. Right. So give it a little bit of time. And, um, but, but I, I just went viral two days ago. I understand that, but they just <laughs> so we just I finally broke through. You we definitely just, have to show that that <laughs> clip though on this deal because this clip is absolutely. I mean, it's it went. Shad will say it went viral because he's in it. Well, that's, that's what I was looking. You know, I was just looking at Shad. I yeah, didn't see yeah, the yeah. dogs. His reaction going crazy. <laughs> it's an 11 second video that yeah. got like almost two million views in two days. So, which is nice because you know I do I put my real estate on there, but. Anyway. So my daughter got notified that OU, um, you're no longer able to use TikTok at OU. I'm going to read you a quote from a kid. His name is Christopher Graham. He's a junior at Auburn University, and this is his quote. War about, Eagle. This is his quote about TikTok. TikTok is like something we do to like pass the time. So it was like really awkward when now we log on to our Wi-Fi and boom, you can't get on TikTok. <laughs> That's, I feel his pain. That's that's our next generation. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to get all my uh, barbecue content, dude. For reals, I that's mean, I'm on the cooking side of TikTok too. Yeah. Do you follow Grok Boys? They're freaking awesome. Grok Boys barbecue. They're freaking awesome. No, there's a, throw it on a cracker. Yeah, Stell cracker. Oh yeah, that guy. He's legit. Yeah. He's like like Louisiana type like yeah Cajun. Cajun He's like for real. With yeah. the, the yeah, little, like the little. Mullet. Yes. He's <laughs> yeah. freaking awesome. I do love TikTok for that because I can get a freaking whole recipe in one minute and I don't yeah. have to watch like a, an hour episode of Food yeah, Network. Matt, Matt showed me his Christmas present. He got a um, a recipe book. Oh, is that recipe book of all TikTok videos? Like, yeah. The, really? The number one TikTok recipes that went viral. Dude, Pepper Belly How Pete. How brilliant is that? Like, yeah. that dude just That's cashed in. Uh-huh. There's XM radio stations of only TikTok music. Yeah. Did you know that? Mm-hmm. So like the I, like the music you play with the... Like with the videos and the stuff. The videos. Yeah. yeah, all the viral <laughs> TikTok songs. So what's going to take its place? Reels, right? Reels. That's, the, That's what I was reading That's this the morning. leader in the clubhouse. Yeah. But what scares me about that is the video I showed you. Right. That's that's a yeah, that's a big issue, right? Like So we have these kids on the TikTok, right? And they don't I I haven't I mean I've seen girls jumping around or whatever or the dudes in the gray sweatpants with the, I don't, I don't with the see no those, underwear. But I, see yeah, the girls. I don't see the yeah, Right. But, but on Instagram reels, it's like there's no That was the most provocative. I didn't even show you the bad part. Yeah. Well, the bad part that, is her jumping up and down. That right there is Unbelievable. Like any so, – that not made for like rated R content. Not safe for work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like it's a, it's a woman yeah. sitting on a bed. She's definitely a porn star type, OnlyFans, whatever the frick. And she's just wearing fishnet, a whole outfit of fishnet. But the fishnet is like this far apart. So it's like it's showing everything. She and was she, catching big fish. And then she starts jumping <laughs> on the – she just starts jumping on the bed. Completely, totally, 100% graphic. I mean, it's like you're watching a porn. And that's just right on Instagram Reels. And this is what our teenagers are looking at. And this is why they're not into boobs, because they can freaking yeah, see, they it see it on their themselves. phone. Yeah, they don't even have to go to Hooters, right? So, sorry, sorry about Hooters. I don't even know. So, we got Instagram. does Hooters still have the, like, the casino? Yeah. yeah. In Vegas? Yeah. Yeah, right across from MGM. The, the airline deal fell apart, didn't it? Long Virgin? Time ago. No, they had a Hooters airline for a little bit. Did they really? Yeah. yeah. I don't think it's around. Yeah. Did the stewardesses, oh, I'm sorry, flight attendants. <laughs> Careful. I'm a little, mis- <laughs> I'm, I'm basically the Andrew Tate of women. <laughs> the 90s call. <laughs> Do you guys know who Andrew Tate is? I don't. And right now he's in a battle with Greta Thunberg. Oh, that must be an epic battle. You know who that is? I don't. She's the little. Um, How dare you? 
The oh, green. Uh, you know who that is the now? Green, uh, green deal girl. Yeah. yeah, and he from where Norway or Switzerland? Or, I don't know. Europe somewhere. Yeah. She's this young girl, and basically she came out and said that he's a complete a hole because he has all these cars. And his response to her was like, "I have thirty three cars that have <laughs> enormous emissions." And then he like <laughs> <laughs> he like put out like his worst ones, and she's like, "Yeah, go ahead and send me an email to Big Dick Energy." dot com or whatever. That's all. Awesome. So they're fighting on Twitter right That's now. That's the biggest hypocrisy in the on the planet though, is this whole concept of carbon footprints and who's pushing them and what their actual footprint is, right? Like yeah. you look at John Kerry who's the what the Greens are and I know I'm getting is he slightly still? political. Is he still? I haven't heard about him oh, in years. Around. Yeah, he's yeah, still around. He's, he's like still yeah, he but he he flies on this like massive private jet, which they all do, right? Because and, they're all yet, rich because of all of the insider trading and everything right. else. So it's it's like, come on, guys, really? You know, do, do the policies really work? No, know? none of it works. None of it works. It's all fake. Yeah. yeah, it's a shadow government. Did you see the Tucker Carlson thing about? Literally, it's confirmed that the CIA killed JFK. Yeah, through the uh, I didn't see the piece, but I did read some of the um, stuff that came out. Saying essentially, the CIA yeah. has no like literally every head of the CIA knew the outcome or uh, what role they the CIA played in that right assassination. Did you see that? So no. that includes in something new right now, yeah. dude. I mean, the people that like, yeah, it's it's a shadow Bush government. Senior, like, like it, all it them. doesn't matter who's in charge. Somebody else is in charge, right? You know, and that's why they freaking hate Trump so much, yeah. right? Because he's the only one that's well, then not. Well, I back think to the, old Elon's getting up there, too. Yeah, Elon's. Oh, he's, you're, he's, you're goddamn right. Yeah. <laughs> he's next in command. <laughs> Although I will say, I will never own a Tesla, ever. Dude. Have you ever, so, read, have you ever read his book? No, I have not. Elon's? Fantastic. What's I it called? It. I don't remember. Um, I'll just look it up. That, okay, uh, I'll, I'll look machine. it up right now. I'll look it up right now. So uh, he got picked on heavily. Like, yeah. all through a kid, like, he'd get beat up all the time. Um, well, there there's go. kind of a lot. <laughs> no, it's just his main book. It just got released a couple years ago. Elon Musk in his own words? Or Elon Musk, like The four. Life, Lessons, and Rules for Success? No. I think it's that one. Tesla, SpaceX, and the Quest for a Fantastic Future? Turn the turn your deal. Oh. Did it show what it is, the picture of it? First one. It's the first one? Okay, so that one is Elon Musk, Tesla, uh, SpaceX, and the quest for a fantastic future. I will tell you, though, I feel like his Teslas think that they are actually part of SpaceX because when you go to park them, they just take off and kill people. <laughs> Have you seen that video? So the, I used to really get yeah. those. Um, Dude, so, that's, that's so it's the, a little bit crazy. It yeah. is the same book. So Elon Musk, Tesla, SpaceX, and the quest for a fantastic future. So uh, Why do you say that's such a good book? Just I mean, it's history or like it does, but it, it just it lets you know more about him to see the things that he does. Like one one uh, little clip it from it was uh, he loved to read, and uh, so he didn't have much friends, you know, in when he was a young kid, and really like any friends at all. He grew up in South Africa, right? Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, and so he'd just go to the library, and like he in his little school he was going to, he read every book. In the library. Yeah, that might have been and then, off the rails a little is bit. Is something playing? Can you guys hear something? That okay. was the book. <laughs> he just, he he just went to his Audible app audit. and he was like, play. Uh, <laughs> but listen to Elon. <laughs> and so, uh, like, the, the little book lady or whatever librarian said, you know, like. Book lady. <laughs> Said uh, he read so all the encyclopedias, correct. front back, Britannica, and then but he would just Do have you remember those. Yeah, yeah he would just sure. have images of like he was just fascinated by putting somebody in space, you know. Yeah. And boy, there's a lot of drama too now going on. Another subject: did, did we ever put a person on moon? I don't think so. Yeah, I am of the thought that there's no freaking way uh -huh. in the 1960s that anyone ever went to the moon. I see and so many can't. videos about it. Yeah, and now we're just you know shoving up a couple of people just, and it's just a few miles north, you know, and then just getting outside the 
stratosphere. Stratosphere, and then boom, we have to go back down. Is like, the Earth flat or not? Come on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Because <laughs> the North Star never moves, but everything else does. But the North Star doesn't. So the, the, the Earth is spinning around the sun. Maybe because it's farther enough away. I'm just yeah. saying. I've seen some very compelling videos on TikTok. Always have so they, they need to get rid of TikTok sooner rather than later, yeah. I think. Yeah. Although, okay, no, I'm not going to go into that rabbit hole. Okay, keep going. So Elon Musk. No, I, I love I what really he's didn't like the guy. But then when I read the book and understand him and like – He's just a really good dude. Like it's it doesn't. Um, he's not a a Trump, which right. some people love him, some people hate him. Even though you might love him, but his attitude is just piss poor. He can't get past his own ego. Yeah, right. um, yeah, yeah. It's too Do much. I think he loves the country and he'd do anything in the world for us? Do you you know? I, yes, but yes. Elon, that you just see some of the radical decisions and like when he. He didn't have any money. Like PayPal, when that happened, I mean, he was broke, dude. Like, and he mm -hmm. threw it all on the line. And that's, you know, and, and literally. Yeah, he's been broke like twice, right? Maybe three times. Like, Usually I the think most he successful was, people have. Yeah. Ted Turner. Lose it. I think Ted Turner, and I'm not correct on this, probably not, but Ted Turner filed bankruptcy 11 times before the satellite dish. Yeah. Like the big satellite dish. Yeah. Um. You know, it's just those people that we all know that can mm -hmm. learn from their mistakes and come up on top. It's only Capture a failure. Capture lightning in a battle. Yeah, what? he's. I'll tell you, the Tesla thing is interesting because, sorry, I'm terrible with this microphone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I need the Garth Brooks deal. You can hear it. <laughs> you just got to listen to yourself. Go ahead. <laughs> um, we were at Ve in Vegas for the NFR like a couple weeks ago, and so we're doing the ride share deal and – you know, waiting, and all of a sudden, here comes this little dude in a hot rod, zip, zip pulls right up. He's in a freaking Tesla. And I was like, I looked at my wife, I'm like, what's going on here? Like, seriously? We probably took about a dozen share, ride shares, and seven of them were Teslas. So these guys are buying in Vegas. They're buying, and apparently it's like San Francisco and all these other big cities. They're buying Tesla because it costs them like $12 a day to operate, and they're making money on ride share, driving like 12, 13 hours a day. Are they even driving, though? Or are they just like autopilot? No, the dude is driving. Yeah, yeah, because there's too much. I mean, the autopilot scares me to death. Yeah, I see. I don't. I'm not a big fan of that. I like, dude. I, just, I I'm intrigued by the electricity thing a little bit in the cities. Like for us, I got no use for one. But but it takes coal energy to charge the batteries, right. and the batteries it, are that's so the bad. Okay. But for our so, environment. So Elon's deal was. So the combustion engine, right? So it takes, just like electric motor, takes so much fuel to make it operate. But Elon's biggest thing was is the combustion engine is so, uh, it, it, it might, if you can take 40 horsepower, let's give a good example. So this is the old farmer and rancher in me. So you have a tractor that's advertised 100 horsepower. But if you look at what the PTO horsepower is, right. that's a power takeoff on the back that would run like a hay baler or mower or this or that, it would be like 80 horsepower. So you're like, well, why is it 100 horsepower at the engine and why is it 80 back here? Because there is such a lack, or not a lack, you lose going through all of the gears and this or that, you lose horsepower by the time you get you know, to where it really needs to be. And so with uh, – and then with a combustion engine, you know, you've, you've got your pistons going up and down. Each – all of that takes power to do. Mm -hmm. But the – you know, like the, the, the Tesla car, when it's 100 horsepower, you get 100 horses right at that rear tire. Mm -hmm. There is no lack of – That's why they're just like pew. Exactly. Yeah. And so it just makes it more efficient. And that's what he would always, you know, throughout the book is the efficiency – and so it might take, you know, say this much coal to charge that battery. But if you compare it with a combustion engine, it takes a whole lot more energy for that combustion motor than it would do the electric car. Hmm. 
I'm going to tell my husband not to cut this part out. Because <laughs> he's very anti electric cars. Yeah. He likes the diesel. He likes the rumble. Oh, yeah. He likes the shake. He likes the exhaust. He likes I, the. I think it's know. like anything else, right? Like it's everything has its place, right? So Clark, you know, Clark lives right. just outside of San Francisco. Like it. He's got a generator on his house. Like, they've got a power grid issue system. They're paying $7 a gallon for fuel. Like, yeah, I get it. Like, if you can charge your deal off of a generator, a solar power generator, yeah, it makes sense. Okay, a solar power generator does make sense as far as, like, yeah. the environment. You know what I'm saying? Be but the, the, the issue that I have is when they say that this is going to save the world – because oh, of electric yeah, and emissions and all of that crap. That's what bothers but that's me. That's the fear mongering, right? Like, right. Yeah. And that's where I say, you know, everything has its place. And yeah, does a Tesla make sense for us out here? Well, maybe if you just like it, you know. Yeah. But, I mean, it really, I don't know. I can't. We passed a, a Tesla charging area <laughs> on 35 going up to Nebraska, and there was cars all the way wrapped around waiting to charge. See, that's the thing. That's what I don't like about them. How, how the frick do you take them on a road trip? Think about it. So it's like negative 10 degrees out? Yes. Yeah. And, and so they won't not. charge. Yeah. So they Tesla built a deal. It's like got to heat up the battery. Cold zaps batteries. And then you heat up the battery and then it will take a charge. And so like all of the people that are in line, think about how many of those cars ran out of juice just waiting. Oh well, see, gosh. I think so. And I might be completely all wet on this deal, but. I understood that at a percentage of, or not a percentage, but like a certain mile per hour, like under 15 miles an hour or idling, it starts to recharge itself. So it won't is actually die is what I, I'd heard that. Now that could be, I don't I have could be, compl again, I could be completely I wrong. I wouldn't on think that, so. I mean, if you're just sitting there and you've got the heater blowing out. That's a hybrid. But, but isn't that like an alternate? The hybrid, I mean, the hybrid though, when you press on be. the brakes, that recharges the batteries. For the hybrids, yeah. But well, the I, I don't Tesla know about does the same thing. Does it? Yeah, it's got it where it uses the energy from the brakes to recharge the batteries. Yeah, but, but if you're idling, if you're just sitting there, I mean, it's just using battery. Yeah. I mean, I don't. There's no. You know, yeah. a hybrid's going to have another engine, so like it's going to have the gas. Yeah. Can you believe all the people that froze to death this past week up in Buffalo, yeah. New York? That's pretty crazy up They've there. They've right getting now. pounded Terrible. with weather. They had like one, like six or seven feet. And then they had another like three or four foot. And did you drop. see the flooding in Montana too? Yeah, yeah. That's freaking insane. Yeah, That's yeah. The been weather's a been bad weather week. Nuts. Yeah. And um, your pipes burst on your house? Yeah, we had a uh, a pipe in the field, so it wasn't in the house, thankfully. So we're we were gone over Christmas, and of course, you know, <laughs> come home to a shit storm. <laughs> yeah, that's always luckily fun. we got it got the uh, well turned off. So, but yeah, I'm it, just glad it's we didn't something. lose power this week. Yeah. yeah. It was cold. Yeah. That would have been bad. Because you guys were both out of town. Yeah. For yeah. I was in Michigan. Yeah. It was uh, about six degrees, 30 mile an hour winds. We got about eight inches of snow in two days. Yeah. Speaking of Michigan, they just arrested somebody else who was involved in the whole governor assassination plot. Did you know that? Another guy. I saw the one guy got. Um, they just, like, it was announced like sentenced. today. He said he was depressed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Smoking too much. Heather, dope. what do you think about the solar panels on the houses? I'm not a fan. I was doing some research on it, and it's kind of fascinating. So solar panels have a shelf life, right? Mm -hmm. um, the batteries or the cells? The cells and the batteries. But the Tesla wall, though, the Tesla wall thing might be a good thing. So what about these people? So they're they're putting on... A product that has a shelf life. And I think the shelf life is 10 years, might be. Really? Yeah. But the contracts that they're signing are like, 10 that, years. that's what I don't like about them. Is so the by contracts. the time they get done paying, <laughs> then they're out of. They're, yeah. You it's, know, it's, a, it's gone. Uh huh. Because that's what bringing back the facility in town, like uh, the sports complex, yeah. he wants to do solar panels on like one whole thing of the roof. And he thinks it'll like literally pay. For all the utilities. So it, it depends, right? Is he crediting that back to the service if, provider if or is he putting it into So pan there's all it's sorts of the, the battery provider, bank. Right? Idiot. Well, you can do it two ways. That's the thing. You can do it two ways, but like it depends on, you know, your local provider. Will Weatherford actually Except give him credit for, you know, 
when it puts power back into the lines. It's pennies on the dollar. And I had no what exactly. It's pennies on the dollar. Yeah. They get screwed. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's like why I don't Tri like County. Right. Tri County won't you won't can't do it. because it's yeah. co-op. co-op. So you're right. basically customer So who would Weatherford be? Encore. Encore. Well, I don't know about Weatherford. Weatherford's Encore. their own utility. Right, right, right. <laughs> but they get their power from someone and it's probably Encore, do you think? <coughs> Because I have I have clients in in Alito, so there's I've had two experiences with um, that are negative for solar panels. One client is in Alito. They put you know they put it out on the ground. They didn't put it up on their roof and stuff. And they did credit it back to Encore and his pennies on the dollar. And they're like, it didn't save us any money. Yeah. If we had yeah. known what we know now, we never would have set it up this way. We would have done it on the bank of, you know, battery packs so that we would run and be completely self sufficient. Because they were sold by the solar panel companies, this is going to increase your value. It's going to do all of this stuff. And every appraiser I've ever talked to has said, we have to have data. If we don't have data showing yeah. that this house with solar panels sold for X amount of percent <coughs> over all the other houses, then there's no data to support a higher price. But the solar panel salesmen are telling everybody that. Yeah. And then the other one is I had these clients trying to buy in Grand Prairie. It was a 40-page document. The guy had passed away. He had solar panels on his house. He put them on the year before. Yeah. He couldn't even pay them off. Yeah. So the buyer that was coming in had to get qualified. Like it was written in that it had to be leased for seven years before they could be paid off at all. And yeah, so the buyer it's... coming in from the lending side, because Gary, you're a lender. Right. The buyer coming in had to get qualified to take over the solar panel thing, which creates a new, new account. Loan. And then it could screw up their whole purchase thing. That sounds yeah. like a disaster. It, it is. is. That's what I'm saying. So I think that there eventually is going to be amazing. But I think that right now the product that we have sucks. This yeah. is – and I could be wrong on this too. But so what these what these folks are using is data, not necessarily from te- – so Texas is – you know, generally speaking, from an energy standpoint, one of the most cost-effective places in the country, right? So – if you take data from California, which is the opposite of the spectrum, and you're using that kind of data, like the numbers can make sense, right? Because it's so astronomic, the the cost to, to heat a home or, or cool a home in California. But if you use the same kind of comparison, the numbers, and, and that's how I think they're making it work. Because everything that I've seen doesn't make any sense. Because if you're telling me it's going to cost me twenty five grand to put solar panels on a 2,000 square foot house, like... I only pay, I pay like two fifty a month. So what you in said, power. what like you said in, about power is interesting because yeah. I moved here from Los Angeles. Okay. So there is no air conditioning and no central AC in these houses. Yeah. Because you don't need it. Yeah. You've got the the ocean coming through. Right. And so all you do is open the windows because almost year round it's seventy degrees. Yeah. But if you're in, so our bill was like a hundred bucks a month. But if you're outside of say o- inland like, if you're inland if you're oakland or you're in that like desert area where like they're having all the wildfires like northern california it's going to be extremely expensive because yeah. it's it's their weather's like ours almost yeah. so it's a kind of a desert uh climate so in the summer times they're getting to 100 105 it gets brutally dry and then in the winter times they get a cool you know kind of like like we do i mean we, our winters are you know like kind today's of 70 but yeah. yesterday it was like 40 or whatever right. so it's like right. all over the map but yeah, I don't know. I, uh, I'm i not a fan. No, yet. I'm not either. Yes, I think someday. From a loan perspective, too, they always come to bite us in the ass. And so I just yes. think there's or the, or the real or the clients. I anyways. think there's yeah, exactly. so many first home buyers that got caught into that. Dude, um, I was getting texts weekly yeah. after after the 2021 freeze. I was getting texts weekly from my clients saying, what do you think about solar panels? Should I do it? Does it increase my value? You no. know. And I told them exactly what I told you. Yeah, I think I that's right. Because they need that's to know. That's good advice. Yeah. I mean, there's all kinds of other ways I think you can make your home more efficient. I'd rather do a home, whole home generator like the Generac type yeah. thing. Yeah, for sure. The, well, only, the only problem I have with Elon Musk is that Starlink is not in our area. Sure it is. It's no, not. it's not. It's not. Jeff's I've, got it. I've been, lined, I've been lined up for a year. Jeff's had it for... A few months. So a buddy of mine in Quail Springs has it, but when I went and I'm on that waiting list with I'm a on the waiting list too. Hundred dollar deposit or something yes. like that, 
and it said it's not available. Did you just get a thing that, from them? I just got an email from them that said, um, if you're desperate for internet, you can sign up for us. We'll give you like a, a like a, God, I don't remember what they called it, but basically it was like a, a beginner package because their actual service is not here yet. And so they basically said it's going to be super crappy for streaming stuff, but if you're desperate for it, you can have it. Where is he? So check this out. But where is he? So this is Gunnison, Colorado. Okay, well, no, that's, I'm talking check, about here. I know, but look at it. We're, we're in the National Forest. Yes. So this buddy of mine. That's what's so awesome he's about a, it. He's an outfitter. Yeah. And so he's got uh, one of his guides. So talking one about of, Nick? His, yeah, but yeah. one of his guides is from Wyoming, and he works from home. And so he couldn't uh, take the day off. So we were up there glassing for elk and mule deer. And so he's got his Starlink hooked up so he could work during the day yeah. while he was up there. So he had his spotting scope out in front of his truck, his Starlink deal right here. Shoot. Hold and on. so, yeah, it was pretty crazy. That's so awesome. 